I just got back from running about two miles. I haven't fixed my hair at all, so I guess technically this is kind of me at some of my worst. And I gotta say, to be age 36 and still have hair like this, I never expected, I know that I say that a lot, but I never expected to have this much hair at age 36. With that being said, a lot of, that's probably the number one comment I got last week that keep, people kept saying, you know, guys that are about half my age, about 18, saying, man, Nick, if only I had as much hair as you do, when I'm your age, then I wouldn't have any complaints. I saw that several times in the comment section of my videos last week. That was a theme last week. So I feel that I need to address that. And as I was running too, I was also thinking about the video I just did about how if, we, if your hair loss is your number one insecurity, then if you took that away and fixed that problem somehow with magic, then would your number two insecurity simply take that place? Is it truly this fundamental issue? What I'm trying to figure out, can we get this issue to go away even if we take the problem away? So let me, let me kind of mix all this in a blender and this is what I want to give you. I want to ask you this. So for those of you who said, Nick, if only I can make it to your age with, with as much hair as you have, I'd have you know, no complaints. I'd be happy. For people who think that way, now assuming you're, you know, again, 18, 19, 20, 21, and maybe you're, you're close behind me on the hair loss scale situation here. Let's go ahead and fast forward 18 years. You know, just like if I was in 1999 watching this video and I fast forwarded till today. If you could do the same, if you could fast forward 18 years from now, or however long it takes you to get to age 36, you do the math, fast forward to that point. And then you look in the mirror and ma um, amazingly, you have the same exact hair as me. You got your wish. You fast forward it to the future, you, you saw the future, and turns out the future's not so bad because as you already agreed, if you could only have as much hair as I did when you're 36, then really you'd be happy. So let's, let's just go there in our minds right now. Travel to the future with me. You look in the mirror, you've got this much hair at age 36. Now I don't know what happened in the meantime. I don't know if all your dreams came true. Maybe you don't wanna get married. Maybe you just wanna do your own thing. Maybe you did wanna get married and you married the most beautiful woman you've ever met. Maybe you wanna be a CEO of a company that delivers pizzas through drones and you became a billionaire. What, whatever happened, happened. But ultimately, you're dealing with this hair, this hairline, and this hair volume at age 36. Okay, now that you're there, I've officially got you there. Now let's figure this out. What now? Next year, you're going to turn 37. You know, in four years, you'll be 40. And at this point, what if your hair continues to thin and your hairline continues to go up? and you get into Norwood four and five, even pretty quickly. I mean, what if it happens rapidly after, what if you made it until this age with Norwood three and then bam, you turn 36 and you're just fast forwarded into Norwood four and five and thinning, diffuse thinning, it's all just going away. Do you still mean what you said when you said, if only you could make it to my age with this hair and that just for my, there it is. Ah, oh, it's in my eye. Ah, oh, man. Great. Ah, oh, now it's hurt. Ugh. Can I get it? If I had three hands, I could... Oh, hey. Did it. Done. Champ. Success. Okay. <laughs> You're so happy that happened. You're like, yes, this is... This is a jewel, and not everyone will know about this secret in the video, where Nick, like a manly man, digs that bug out of his eye. So, anyway, you, what you said last week, now you're thinking about it again. You're thinking, okay, if, if only I could make it to age 36 with, with the kind of hair Nick has, I'd be happy. Okay, so imagine you're here. Is it still true, though? Is it still true? Now, will you suddenly not worry about your hair anymore? Because... You said if only you could have that one thing, then you'd be happy. Now you got it. But now that the future has arrived, now you have that fear hanging over your head again because we don't, we never know when it's, just like we don't know the day we're going to die. We don't know the day that it just all might go away. It could at any point. It could. 
So do you really mean what you say? Do you still feel the same way? Would you be okay in those years heading on into age 40 and 45 and 50? Is that really, this is the point. Would it really make things okay if you could only make it to my age? Cause see, and I asked this, I'm interested. I really want to know because I felt the same way when I was your age. <laughs> I mean, I thought about this stuff when I was in high school. I did, even though, you know, I only had the Norwood one starting at age 18. But I, I wondered, I didn't know. And I made those bargains with myself or God or whatever I was making the bargains with. If only I can make it till 35 is really the bargaining I was going with. And here I've made it to 36. So will that make everything better? We, what I'm asking you too is, let's say you make it to my age with this hair. And then by 40, which I know for you is far into the future, but still, will you still have these same thoughts? Will you still think, oh, if I can only make it to 50 or 60, will you still, do you really think that these thoughts about hair loss will magically just disappear even if you do make it to my age? Or will this always be literally and figuratively hanging over your head?